uh, 9.2 sine rule we'll take a triangle like this and if I consider this is a the vertex is a then in front of this vertex this length is a and this vertex is b front of this vertex the length is b and this vertex is c and front of this one is c then i can write sine rule as this a over sine a a over sine distance and relationship with angle um, this is the angle E, this is angle B and angle C is at vertex C. Right? Sine A, capital A, um, and B over angle size B, and we want to get the sine value of that. And then angle C, and what is size is C, and we want to get the sine value of it. And this, those are equal. Oh, this is also right. Sine A over A, sine B over B, and sine C over C. We can use this one or this one. According to the question, we can use because if the question is asked about the distance, so we better uh, write uh, the distance in the numerator. If the question is asking about angle, then we can write the angle in the numerator. So according to the way the question is asked. Now, how many equations there? A equals sine A, B equals sine B and C equals sine A equals sine A, B equals sine C equals sine C. We can write A equals sine A equal B equal sine B or A equal sine A equal C equal sine C or B equal sine B equal C equal sine C. We can break it into uh, three like this. Now we'll give the proof for this one sign rule. It is very easy. Um, now this is B and this is C. We need to uh draw a perpendicular line that's all we need to do uh, to any any base so I'll the easy one I write the perpendicular uh, draw a perpendicular line to a b base from c now I am going to connect a and b So I will take this one as H. Right. Now only you need to keep in your mind that uh, to prove this one, now you have to draw a perpendicular line. That's all. And you can take that height is H. Now we are talking about sine. Then we'll put the sine ratio. So uh, from This is C, capital C, A, B, C triangle, or maybe C triangle, um, sorry, this is C distance, uh, let me take this one, this point is uh, P, so form uh, A, C, P, triangle A C P triangle I'm going to write sine A 
sign name is this is when you come here there are two adjacents one is hypotenuse other one is adjacent and other one is when you spot opposite so this is opposite sign mean opposite divided by adjacent uh, hypotenuse so uh, hypotenuse is b now i cross multiply h equal uh, b sign a equation one now from CPB triangle, CPB triangle, uh, sin B is, sin B is, when you come and stand up sin B, which one is the opposite? So this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse front of 90 degrees and uh, opposite is H. H over uh, sorry opposite is yes H over A now cross multiply A sin B equal H now H equal B sin A again H equal A sin B now from 1 and 2 alpha equal beta alpha equal theta then the conclusion is beta equal theta so likewise h equal b sin a h equal a sin b from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 b sin a equal h equal a sin b it means b sin a equal a sin b now this b to down and this b to down will do cross sin a over a equal sin b over b now we prove sin a over a equal sin b over b so we can give the c over c so if we drop to a 90 degrees one here then again we can do the same proof let's say this side is h1 and you want to follow the same thing then you will get a relationship with uh, B and C because we are crossing A angle so A angle is not going to be there and B and C or usually when do the proof we don't repeat we can repeat the same thing or we don't repeat usually we will write same as same as was the meaning of that we have to follow the same thing then we write uh, sin b over b equal sin c over c if you want you can prove oh, same as sin b over b now from here sin a over a equal sin b over b then sin b over b equal sin c over c actually i will write differently sin b over b equal sin a over a here as it is sin b over b equal sin c over c now alpha equal beta alpha equal theta what you can tell beta equal theta right sin b over b is sin a over a sin b over b is sin b over b is sin c over c now hence 
means from one and two you can write sign b over sorry sign a over a a sign c over c okay now sign a over a sign a over b now sign b over c sign c over c now sign c over c sign a over a means sign a over a is sign b over b is sign c over c oh, a different approach this is arguments another one so you prove this one now already you gave the proof sign a equal a equal sign b over b so same as you can write sign b over b equal sign c over c and sign c over c equal sign a over a we'll put into the same mass category so you can show this one this one we showed proof already same as we can do this one and same as we can do this one so we have to put a perpendicular line to the this is h2 and work out so instead of working we put same as category hence sign a equal a sign b equal b and sign c equal c as a summary when you prove sign rule only thing what you need to do if we have a triangle right you want to do a perpendicular line and all the other data is given that you can take this is h and you write uh, two equation to h and then equal this one or if i write like this h equal uh, this one and h equal this one then what you can tell about this symbol is equal to this symbol ends so you replace h put a 90 degrees uh, line perpendicular line take this height is h and replace the h uh, by writing sign two times that's all that's all you need to keep in your mind and uh, if we have uh, alpha right so this is alpha beta gamma and this is p q r so how do you write the ratio sine alpha over what is the number q then sine beta over yeah what is the front uh, distance r and then sine gamma over gamma and r look like similar uh, i'll put this is uh, theta so sine theta equal uh, front of p that's all you can write either way as well q equal sine alpha r uh, over sine beta and p over sine theta you should not keep that uh, that structure in your brain a over sin a over a and sin b over b and then you are looking where is a where is p where is c that doesn't work so it doesn't matter whatever the angles and the distance you know what is the relationship that's all you need to know not a o b o c o r o p anything right which one to which that's all basically this angle to this distance this angle to this distance and this angle to this thing that's all you need should in your brain and when you do cosine rule so if this is alpha and this is uh, uh, p q r then you can write uh, uh, cos alpha is this is a cosine rule i'm talking about 
cos alpha equal me alpha angle cover with to this base so then p square plus q square then you want to minus the front one it's not r yeah it is r in this case but in your brain you have to keep you have to remember it should be the front one and then two times this uh, thing or the other form so if you want to find this distance front r square equal then again this one p square plus q square minus two times p q this distance times angle front of angle cos alpha we need a angle you can come to this one and if you need a distance you can use this one but both same if you can't remember keeping two just keep in one anything as i said earlier don't keep where is a b where is b a is this one b is this one instead of a b right this is alpha this is p q r then you write your answer is cos a equal a square b square c square then two uh, a b now you are looking at then then you are comparing this one where is a instead of a what is this one alpha now you are wasting time right then instead of a earlier right so alpha this, now what is this one this is b this is a uh, not it's not a good way of working and this is so that doesn't work it will uh, reduce your speed so we'll discuss uh, the examples uh, i mean through the exercise we can cover everything so we'll go to the exercise 9b